right, so this video will be about how to restore an HMI uh, Factory Talk HMI server, and this would be version um, 7, and it's a side edition. So, uh, Factory Talk side edition, or SE 7.0. Um, first off, what you want to do is you want to open up your admin con uh, it's your Factory Talk admin console and network. And then you want to come in, and if you know where your file's at, it's very easy to, to put, put in place. What you want to do is you want to come into network, and you want to hit restore. You want to pick where your file's at. Ours is happens to be on the desktop. And I believe it's right here. Um, thinking it is. Yes. Okay, so... This is what you're looking for, the InstaFizz BAK. Now what this is, this will do is it, it will place it uh, <clears throat> it will place it inside the uh, proper channel. So you don't at this point want to do anything else. So what you want to do is you want to close this out. So you just closed out the administrative console. Then you want to take the InstaFizz, um, you want to copy the InstaFizz HMI, verify that it, it is the HMI, and then it does have the uh, .e, e, e, I'm sorry, SED file. Um, verify that first, but copy that, and then go to, you want to go to Programs, and you want to go to uh, Users, and then you want to go to, I believe it's public, documents, RS links, enterprise, SE, and then HMI applications. So we'll paste that. And yes, I want to override it. I already had it in there, so I just want to make sure that... Okay, so that's overwritten now with, with what's in there. So we can close that out. And then we can actually open up our Factory Talk Studio. We'll make sure we're <clears throat> we're selecting the uh, View Site Edition, and this is Network Distribution or Distributed. So we should be fine on that. It should pull up, and hence the fizz is right there. This will yes, it says it needs it's a 6.0. Um, it needs to be a 7.0, so it's going to automatically. Um, populate. Now it will fail to begin with. That is no no worries. Um, the only reason it's failing is because it needs to know exactly where the, the, the server is. So in the HMI area right here where it says the server is X'd out, just simply right click and go to properties and see where it says core for the hosting. You want to make sure that that says your computer name. So my computer name is uh, 777 ICW uh, 161 so change that and then it will automatically populate so that's the quickest and easiest way to restore an application on uh, factory talk SE and there's a few more things that I, I'm going to show you that you need to do and this is just best practices so if it has a uh, factory talk alarms and events, you want to right click that, go to properties, and you want to select your computer again, the, the hosting computer that you're doing this on, and under uh, RS Links Enterprise, you want to do the very same thing. So again, it says core, you want to change that to your computer, hit OK, and then open up your RS links. Now this should tell you that it's not the same computer just like it did. It does. It says the uh, existing short shortcuts will be updated. You must press OK. So um, this in in this instance you will be running a uh, you'll be running a, uh, a emulated software. So you basically select that emulated software and uh, highlight it to shortcut um, and then 
at the very bottom you want to be and we are using alarms and events you want to make sure they're enabled so you have an option but we want to make sure they're enabled and we want to also verify let's see at the very bottom we want to verify that the everything we did is is okay and then press the okay button so at this point uh, you should be just about ready for um, you know running what I do recommend though is that you reboot your so as soon as you change like your RS links enterprise like who's hosting the RS links enterprise and who's hosting everything I, I recommend the best practices to basically go through and just reboot but um, this will work um, and we won't we won't make a client right yet I just wanted to show you real quick how quick and simple that was to actually get to that point so uh, basically to run back through it we, we did a uh, factory talk admin console we restored our back our BA BAK right so we did a restore we chose our BAK and restored it I'm gonna click cancel because we already did that since we did that we closed it out we simply went and moved the file the HMI file with the uh, that holds the dot e uh, sed we backed up and got the whole file copied it and moved it to the uh, correct file location which is is uh, if you're Windows 7 I believe it's 8 to um, all users and then public and then documents and then uh, RSView Enterprise then you go into SE and then you go into SE or HMI projects and just simply paste that in there. Now once you do that, that's just setting up the, the whole whole premise of what we did. So as soon as you open it up, it's going to X out and just that's just simply right clicking that, changing it to your computer. Once you change that to your computer, verify it actually should populate all the screens in and have everything there. Uh, do the same thing as far as if it has a, uh, a factory talk alarms and events you want to do the same thing on that and obviously you want to do, do the same thing on the RS links enterprise so uh, real quick what we went over everything should work uh, I do do recommend fully that you close it out and reboot at this time and we will pick up again in the next video um, I just wanted to show you how simple and easy that was and this is uh, the InstaFizz uh, version or the InstaFizz HMI system that we're going to be doing so uh, we're going to combine the HM, uh, the InstaFizz HM, HMI with the InstaFizz um, the, the CLX code and we're going to get them running together with the, uh, using the RS Logics uh, Emulate 5000 as soon as we get that working that shows a full active system and you should be able to do troubleshooting uh, learn coding uh, you should you know just kind of play around with the codes learn global objects parameter passing uh, how to simulate stuff it's very helpful so uh, this being video 2 um, video 1 was showing you how to create the ACD file this is video 2 on how to create the uh, HMI uh, file and then the next stage we'll tie the two together and we'll make a um, you know, we'll make a client and do the testing okay so thank you for your time I'll have more videos uh, or more information on the show notes below and I'll uh, also have the contacts uh, for two, a couple different sets of contacts if you want to contact me or if you just would like to uh, leave me a message or, or comment below that's that's fine too um, any ideas or anything you want to see that's great um, you know we're here to just kind of keep building on things and keep making things better so again thank you for your time and uh, and uh, we'll, you know we'll keep putting them out